So jumping right into it, we're following Mando and the child fleeing from the big battle that they had at the end of episode three. Now, I think for me, episode four, um, it's fun and it's a, it's a little bit of a slow burn. Um, but I will say that we do get to meet a new character named Kara. 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 Basically what happens in this episode is we see Mando and the child seek refuge in some distant planet where nobody will find them. Mando's idea for this is to maybe lay low for a couple months and hopefully see that um, they'll kind of fly under the radar and that they'll be off of everybody's, you know, grid. Basically he's just trying to get out of the hot seat. So as I said, he meets this girl named Kara. I want to say it's Kara or Kara. She's also doing her own bit of fleeing from everybody, but they kind of come to a mutual agreement where they're going to stay hidden somewhere and they come across this little town and if you've seen the intro for this episode for episode four you'll see that these towns villagers have been raided by some you know neighboring mean guys creatures because it's star wars well what's interesting about this episode it has a very uh seven samurais uh magnificent seven type of um spin on it which is cool it's one of those classic little stories that you see every now and then in you know movies and tv shows so basically all that really happens is they fight off these uh mercenaries these raiders these guys who are just trying to pillage the town and they drive him out kill him do whatever they got to do but in the process they obviously teach uh the townspeople how to defend themselves like i said very uh seven samurais magnificent seven type of style if you're a cinema junkie out there You'll also know that that type of feel in a more comedic way was in that movie called The Three Amigos. Well, the twist that's really interesting about this episode and something that I don't really know, I, I can't really say if I've seen it happen before, but what happens is uh, Mando kind of has a fondness toward one of the villagers and she kind of asks if he wants to stay. He regretfully has to decline, but he does want to see the child stay there so that way he can, you know, grow and be... Um, grow up to be a normal kid. Unfortunately, there's a, a couple events that don't allow him to let the child stay on the planet so that way he can grow up, but watch the episode and you'll know what I'm talking about. Overall, this episode was really good. I enjoyed it. It was um, some of a little bit of a callback to, you know, classic cinema, classic story and stuff, but this episode was, was it was a decent one. So I again, I'd recommend go watching the series, uh, catch yourself up on the on the show. I'm currently doing it right now. So I'll try to have as many episodes of it done as I can. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, staying through the video and just enjoying my rants about it and my thoughts on it. So what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys like it or is it kind of like, eh, was it cheesy? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below. Again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep yourself updated on any additional new videos. As well as follow on the various social media sites. And I'll see you guys in the next review or reaction.